Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Today, I'm gonna show you guys like plenty of Jurassic World and Jurassic Park dinosaurs, okay? I'm gonna clean this entire section up so you will be taking a look at every single Takara Tomi Jurassic World figures as well as some of the latest Gujitsu. You know, the latest carnivores from Jurassic World. Maybe some hammond collection from the basement dino dungeon. So let's begin by picking up all the new figures, okay? So let's do this. Guys, check this out. Plenty of figures in this box. And now we have to head over to the mini shelves to pick up some latest minifigures to show you guys, okay? Probably some of the older ones. All right, so let's do this. Okay, guys, check this out. Plenty of figures right here. So we are going to drop them into the box, okay? So let's do this. Hey guys, I'm Dan, so welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. So the box of figures are right here, plenty of Jurassic World and some Jurassic Park figures. So we can pick up the Hammond Collection figures right here okay, as well because we have new Hammond Collection figures coming up really soon. I'm gonna let you guys know, so um, yeah, so let's begin this exciting video, let's do this. Alright guys, let's start to place different items on our beautiful review table, shall we? The first figure that we are going to take a look at will be this, which is known as the um, Destroy and Devour, I think. No, Thresh and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. There are just way too many different T-Rex, different names, so it's really hard for us to like, you know, even remember it. So uh, we haven't seen this guy for like the longest time, so yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite um, Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I would say that my most favorite one is actually the Hammer and Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Okay, another new figure that we have added recently is actually this one, which is the um, Sound Search Indominus Rex, guys. It comes with a button right here, okay. It's actually a very, very cool sculpt because um, this figure actually looks really, really good and um, it's sort of like neutral position, not too exaggerated. So I really like this figure a lot. But there's a problem with the sound search figures, which I'm going to tell you guys later on, okay? I'm going to show you guys another sound search figure. Um, this is also a new one, which is the Conotaurus. Some such figures, I think they're quite loose when it comes to the, um, the legs, so they kind of like fall over quite easily, so it's kind of annoying to me sometimes, but overall, I think it's a pretty good um, figure. I have one question for you guys. When the batteries run out, do you guys replace them or do you remove them completely? Because I have so many figures with like batteries, and it's really hard for me to maintain them like keep replacing batteries after different months so i need to purchase like so many different um batteries so i need you know some comments from you guys okay before we actually move on to other jurassic world figures let's take a look at our last two dinosaur 3d puzzle figures okay we are left with two you can see we have a couple of figures that we have opened um a few days back so i know that you guys actually love you know, watching me open some of this dinosaur surprise eggs because I know that it's actually quite exciting for you. So, yep, this is our last two. We'll probably get more. So I want you guys to like comment down below like whether we should be getting more of this, whether you guys like them. If you guys like them, I don't mind getting more to open up um, to show you guys, okay? So let's pop in the tail first. I think this one should be um, pretty simple. Just pop in the tail. This one is basically um, part of the neck. Just pop it right in. Here's another one. Okay, I think this is the... Um, where, where is this from? Okay, I'll just pop this in. This is the neck. This is probably the tail, I think. And the last bit of the tail. Are you guys like able to recognize like what dinosaur you know, this is? This is basically um, an Amargosaurus, guys. So let me just pop in um, the tongue. The tongue is quite hard to um, put it in, as you guys can see. But it's kind of fun at the same time. Okay, let's try this. Wow, it's really tough, guys. Really tough. Maybe I'm putting it in the wrong direction. Possibly. Let me just fast forward. All right. 
the head is done so we all we need to do is assemble it and um, this last part which is um, the left hind leg just pop it right in so we have an Amagosaurus right here which looks kind of cool okay Amagos lizard as you guys should know okay let's move on and take a look at our next figure okay this figure have you guys seen this so this is basically like um you know a figure for you to create stop animation is known as the movie meets um, um jurassic world figure as you can see it's a plenty of articulation it's not a best looking figure but i feel it's kind of cool and it comes with a stand which means that this figure can definitely 100 percent stand upright and here is another one which is the um tyrannosaurus rex version i've got the gigar but it hasn't arrived until you know i, I have no idea why it hasn't arrived hopefully i get a refund because I want to complete the entire set. Um, this is the T-Rex, Velociraptor. The last one is actually the Giganotosaurus, okay? Hopefully, I can get it, okay? Next, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a um, couple of new Gujitsu figures. We have the Mosasaurus right here. We also have the, um, the Conotaurus. And recently, I've added the new Tyrannosaurus Rex. These Gujitsu figures, they are actually extremely funny, okay? Check this out, guys. Are you like able to guess like what are inside its body check this out it's hard to tell right but if you do this squishing movement if you just like bent it you can see there are like some bones and one insect which i i feel it's a mosquito it's kind of like a gigantic mosquito as you guys can see but super adorable and check this one out this one is um yeah i really like this one a lot but hopefully it doesn't break it you know check this out you can see like fish bones inside guys extremely adorable and this one is the the Conotaurus which is just like you know kind of like simple it's just some slime yeah very cool I love all these good jitsu figures I feel they are so adorable what about you guys okay next up okay I'm gonna be showing you guys like all my Takara told me um Jurassic World dinosaur so we have um red right here I think this is Panthera this is red and I'm gonna be uploading you know, a short video of all the Takara Tomi dinosaurs onto my TikTok. So if you guys have not followed me on TikTok, Instagram, please do so because I upload kind of um, short reels every day on both of um, the platforms, okay? So make sure you follow me on that as well, okay? Next up, we have a Yo Kakaria right here. This is um the Raw Striker, I think. No, Wild Raw Yo Kakaria. Very cool. It's a fatted dinosaur as you guys can see, okay? Next up, let's open our last one. Okay, it's actually very cute and adorable, but I wouldn't say I like them a lot because I'm getting all this because I know that you guys love all this cute sea litter stuff and um, hatching eggs right here. But um, yeah, this is probably the last time I'll be getting this because I don't see myself collecting this. They are very adorable, but uh, I, I can't display them. Uh, you know, I, I like Jurassic World and Jurassic Park figures more than this. This is, I think this is a T-Rex. It has two fingers. No, it has three fingers, guys. So it's definitely not a T-Rex. Um, the snot is kind of long. It's not a Spinosaurus, probably. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It doesn't look like a raptor because it doesn't have the sickle claw. So yeah, probably something with a long mouth. Probably like a um Ichthyo Venator guys. Like this one. But it doesn't have the sail. That's the problem. So I'm not too sure. So I think you guys can decide what dinosaur this is. Okay? Okay, let me know down below. Alright, let's move on to our world. Okay. You can basically get this um, dinosaur out from the egg quite easily, okay? So, I'm just gonna put this away. Next up, a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus, guys. I'm not too sure whether there are still sounds for this. Oh my goodness, it's still working. Listen to this. It's very, very soft, but very cool. So, this is a Dilophosaurus. Um, it's a vintage Jurassic Park figure. Yep. Um, if I'm not wrong, this one should be from 1997. The condition is still quite good, I would say. All right, let's open up the last one, guys. This is a Pantoceratops. Yep. So let's have a look at this. Right. So let's cut this open. 
This seems to be quite complicated when it comes to the assembly, so let's take a look. Right, let's pop in the tail from the head. Okay, this one should be simple. We have to assemble um, this little crown first. So Pentaceratops is basically known as the five horn phase, okay? Because um, it has five horns. It's pretty simple. Just like a Triceratops, it has three horns, which means um, the name is three horn phase. So check this out. So let's try to find um, the five horns. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you don't count all the spikes around the crown, okay? So this two, this two horns on the side are actually false horns. So they're not much used when it comes to a battle. They're kind of like soft from what I've read, okay? Pretty cool, let's move on to the next figure. Austroraptor, I've totally forgotten what does the name mean. Um, this is basically a very new figure that has been added to our collection just one or one week ago, I would say. One week ago, very cool. Austroraptor. Um, I can't even remember. You know, I did some research on this. I've totally forgotten about you know which dinosaur it is closely related to. I think it's related to a raptor. I, I suppose. Yep. Let's put this right here. More sound search figures, guys. Gigar. Beautiful. We have two of them. I love the sound search figures. They are so hard to find. You know, I actually got one of them from um, eBay until I, I found one at a lower price. So one of them is actually from a set which I have no choice but to get, you know, the entire set because I wanted to get the Conotaurus as well. Okay, next are two more new figures that, you know, you guys may have probably added to your collection recently is actually the latest Strike Attack Herrerasaurus. And also the um, Elephrosaurus. Elephrosaurus. Okay, I've totally forgotten about what does the name mean. I think this is known as a Nimbo Lizard, if I'm not wrong. Oh, yes, I think so. I think so. Great, great. All right, let's move on to the next figure. Let's see. I've brought plenty of figures, guys. You know, like Funko Pop. You know, you guys know what? You know, I'm still missing one or two Funko Pop mini figures. I think one of them is actually um, the Brachiosaurus. You know, I, I'm thinking whether I should get it off eBay because there's no way for me to complete the set. So, yeah, I think so. I think I'll, I'll be getting it from eBay. Another new um, species that has been added to the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World line is the Joe Sternbergia. And speaking of Joe Sternbergia, we should be receiving our Joe Sternbergia really, really soon. Yep, the latest one. Okay, here is another Gujisu figure. I think you guys love this. Shall we just check out what's inside its belly? Let's see, let's see. Oh, bubbles. Very cool little bubbles. Okay, I don't want to press it like too hard because I feel that one day I will break its tummy. So I think you guys have to go like really, really gentle. Don't go and use your fingernails. Never do that, okay? Next up, another Dilophosaurus right here. This is also, um, you know, a vintage one. This is from 1997, if I'm not wrong. So I brought a couple of Dilophosaurus to show you guys today. Here is another prehistoric flying reptile that has been added in recent months, Sunger Ripterus. I love the shiny metallic paint that they have um, applied around the eyes. I think it looks really, really pretty. <laughs> yeah, beautiful dinosaur. Okay, Iguanodon, I think I've seen a set, an Iguanodon with another carnivore, and I feel that Iguanodon looks like it has a different paint scheme. I'm not too sure, so if you guys know, please let me know down below, okay? Because I think that could be a different Iguanodon which we don't have. I mean, if that's the case, I might consider getting it. Yep. Let's move on. Sino Tyrannus, which is known as the Chinese Tyrant. I think it is also a Tyrannosaur, although you can see it has three fingers as compared to the T-Rex, which has two. Um, this is basically from the Gigantic Trackers, Dino Trackers series. Very, very cool. It comes with um, two buttons. I'm not a huge fan of like weapons and gear over dinosaurs because I feel it, it looks kind of weird, but you know, um, it's still kind of cool to me. Uh, Amagosaurus, so I've shown you guys like this Amagosaurus. This is basically 
the depiction from um, Jurassic World from Takara Tomi. Takara Tomi dinosaurs are great. I'm looking forward to new ones from them. Another sound search figure, guys. Okay, this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a darker version. The darker version is actually the Jurassic World Dominion version. Which one do you guys prefer? I really like this one because I feel that it looks are uh, more intimidating and it looks like um yeah it, it looks it looks cool i mean we have been getting this color tone for like the longest time so it's really good to see the jurassic world dominion series you know with a darker tone yeah really cool next up have you guys seen this before a back clip i mean if you guys have watched every single one of my video you probably have you probably remember this this is basically a back clip that i've purchased um there are a couple of other back clips let me get my camera okay let's let's, let's go over here guys so you can see we have a couple of back clips right here oh i think we should be putting this triceratops you know along with other back clips i think so i'm gonna put this one uh into the box later on you can see they don't really stand well so they kind of like keeps falling over so perhaps we can actually put some pins over here and hang them right here probably probably i'm not too sure i'm considering that so let me know down below guys whether we should keep the back clips in this acrylic case or should we buy some pins you know with the double sided tape behind put them right here so that we can hang the back clips nicely over here what do you guys think i want you guys to comment down below okay thanks let's head back to our video and let me attach my arm um, camera back onto the tripod you might see my feet and my legs which is not a very flattering thing <laughs> all right but let's head back we have the pyro raptor here which is from gujitsu as well okay um there are different things inside the body so let's check this out feathers this time okay let's move on and here is another funko mini which is um blue and this is also relatively new. I wouldn't say it's like a very recent addition. This is basically Rugops Primers, which is quite a nice one. All right, I'm gonna put this one right here. And uh, we have a Dryptosaurus, guys. Dryptosaurus, is it a Tyrannosaur? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, this is a Wild Raw. I can't remember, you know, what does the name mean for the Dryptosaurus. They're so, they're just way too many recent um, new species. And uh, we have been doing research and the moment I've done the research, you know, after some time, I will keep forgetting the name and stuff like that. Okay, next up, this one is quite uh, a rare figure, I would say. Okay, not many people would have, um, you know, added this to the collection. This is actually um, a Takara Tomy Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is part of a playset. I think it looks really good, which is why I took it out. Um, yep, let's move on. Here we have a Sticky Moloch from Takara Tomy, which is awesome as well. Okay, here's a vintage Jurassic Park figure, Scootosaurus. And speaking of Scootosaurus, Jurassic Park, there will be a 30th anniversary Jurassic Park Scootosaurus um, that will be released very, very soon. I can't wait for it. All right, let's move on. We, we have another Dilophosaurus. You can see these two are basically using the same sculpt, but a paint application is actually different yeah kind of nice as well let's move on genuine deck series have you guys i mean do you guys remember this this is such a weird name when i you know when i did a google search on genuine deck series some kind of um you know moisturizer came out for the face because series seems to be like you know a, a name for like a cream or something like that so when i search Genodex series when I try to purchase this figure, you know, I got all sorts of cosmetic products in my in my search. It was really really funny guys. Yeah, I mean if you try searching Genodex series on Amazon, you will get the this dinosaur as well as some um you know cosmetic products which your your, your mom will like it a lot, I think so. Alright, let's move on. We have our Bumpy the Ankylosaurus. I, I'm not too sure why we have two of them. I think there are exactly the same no are they the same i think so there might be some you know you can see guys they are actually different b21 and e20 they are different guys but i can't tell the difference to be honest but they are definitely a different figure when you can see um, um the numbering below is totally different so let's move on to our next one okay we have the galley mimers right here, as you guys can see. This galley mime is still working. The sounds very, very soft. Listen to this. Ex 
extremely soft and Gallimimus is known as a chicken mimic which is why you can hear the roars are actually sound, sound like a, a bird right okay I mean technically dinosaurs are all birds so yep all right let's move on next one we have a gigar so this is a Funko Mini which I think the Funko Minis look really good uh, we don't have the full collection yet because we're still missing um, the Brachiosaurus as well as one human figure which I can't remember which, which is it um, Baryonyx from Takara Tomy, I think this is a fantastic figure as well um, they basically use the exact 3D model from the movie which is why every single figure looks very very um, accurate movie accurate I would say Blue, Gujitsu, kind of old this is not a new series but you can see it has blue slime inside very cool blue metallic slime I think it looks really pretty as well um, the Gigar the Gigar it's relatively new I think this is like released one or two one year back but you can see you know I'm kind of worried that one day it may break guys okay some of the older Jurassic World figures from Takara Tomy, Stegosaurus and a Pteranodon I, th I think they are all great figures okay this is this Claire is this Claire or is this um um Maisie I think it should be Maisie right uh, seriously I have no idea I can't remember um, um, you know the clothing that they wear okay I'm gonna show you guys a couple of micro collection figures I think there is a new set but we you know um, hopefully I can actually get the new set this is a Carnotaurus this is an Indominus Rex there are like new species coming out there's a Gigar which I you know I, I couldn't purchase it so hopefully um, I can get it and here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here which is um you know a really beautiful one as well from the Funko Pop minis we have a Mosasaurus here I think this is a fantastic one okay next I'm gonna show you guys this this pack of cards it's not playing cards it's not poker cards it's basically some fax card which I think it's kind of um cool but I was actually quite disappointed because this pack of cards is basically about people just people no dinosaurs at all which is kind of um sad but of course you guys should know who's alan grant um ali settler is also in jurassic with dominion dr ian malcolm you have um john hammer so a couple of um you know classic jurassic park um characters which i think majority of you guys will not be very familiar with because i think most of you guys who are watching my videos are, are pretty young of course there are still collectors like myself who has watched you know jurassic park uh, you know the first first three movies so probably you would, you would know as well okay next up brachiosaurus this is from takara tomi beautiful figure i love this um spinosaurus right here this is um quite an old one i would say I'm hoping for Takara Tomy to release new figures. I'll be super, super excited. And here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is one. This one is new. This is the Jurassic World Dominion Edition. Let me grab all of the um, older Tyrannosaurus Rex to show you guys. This is the um, older version, which I think it's. It also looks really good. Okay. Okay. So two of them. So Takara Tomy dinosaurs. They are beautiful. I'm gonna make like a TikTok video on that for sure. And here is an Allophosaurus. I think this one is a really, really fantastic figure as well. It comes with the drawer code right here. Ale um, Adiphosaurus, not Allophosaurus, okay? It's, the name is actually extremely similar with the um, Allophosaurus. Where's, the, where's our Allophosaurus, guys? Where is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's right here. He didn't hear. So this one is known as Allophosaurus. P-H-R-O. And this one is Adiphosaurus, D A, okay, E D A, and this is L E L E L A P H R O, Adiphosaurus, and this is Adiphosaurus. They sound very, very similar, but are two totally different species. Okay, let's move on. Stegosaurus, oh my goodness, this one is like really adorable, and uh, apparently, this one is actually quite hard to obtain as well. It's like one of the rare figures out there. Um, here's a micro micro collection. You can see the, the the colors are very very similar. So I love how they have um you know make the colors consistent. Try at least they are trying to make them consistent. We have blue and the Dimetrodon. Um, and speaking of Dimetrodon, we actually have a, like a small little 
um, the Metrodon figure right here, which is still in his box, which I think uh, looks really good. So let me just attach uh, my camera back. Okay. We also have a Parasaurolophus right here. Fairies and Osaurus. You know, we have so many of them. I think we have at least like 50 different Takara Tomy dinosaurs. Nasutoceratops. Do you guys like remember Nasutoceratops? It was present in um, Jurassic World Dominion. This is uh, Beta. Yes, this is Beta. Not Baby Blue. It's Beta. We have... Um, oops. We have two cute little bumpies right here. I think this is like the most... They are like the most adorable ones. And this is like... Um, Beta again, I think so. Baby blue. Um, one of them is baby blue. Dimorphodon. Um, this one is actually not from the Jurassic World Dominion series, if I'm not wrong. This one was actually um, released earlier. Yeah. Few more micro collections, guys. So this one is the Green T Rex, which I think looks really good. Um, this is like Ankylosaurus, but, but I don't think it is bumpy. Triceratops, three horn face. Let's move on. Okay, Dimetrodon is definitely the one from Jurassic World Dominion. It is so nicely crafted, beautiful. They are basically the guardians of the Amber Cave. Um, Indominus Rex from the previous series, not the latest Jurassic World Dominion series, as you guys know. The Carnotaurus is definitely the latest one. You can see it even has that broken horn, which is awesome. This broken horn, uh, and this Carnotaurus was found at the Malta. Was that Malta? Yeah, the Malta Black Market, um, Dinosaur Market. Gigar, guys, this one has got to be... I think this Gigar is like really, really well done, but of course, the sculpt is super accurate. They basically took the file from the movie and they sort of like printed it out. Okay, so every single sculpt that you can find from Takara Tomy will be extremely movie accurate. Okay. We have the Allosaurus, which was um, actually part of the, um, this little sh short movie called Battle at Big Rock. You can actually search, search it on YouTube, search for Battle at Big Rock, and the battle between Allosaurus and the Nasutoceratops will pop up. It's a really exciting short video. Okay, this Carnotaurus is actually, you know, in my opinion, not an accurate Carnotaurus because you can see the horns are very weird. They basically use the sculpt that they have created um, in the past, you know, from this own dinosaur line, not the Jurassic World line. They use the same sculpt and they produce sort of like an inaccurate Carnotaurus. But later on, as you guys can see, they develop the Carnotaurus into um, something which is more movie accurate. This is basically Carnotaurus Toro. Very, very beautiful and very, really well done, I would say. Okay can even find a scar and the scar is like not just paint work you can even see like some indentation created just for the scar beautiful figure all right let's move on and this is um blue this is another blue um, but with a different paint scheme okay i've i've you know i have the missing too yeah and this is another um blue figure i think this is beta to be honest it just looks very, very adult looking. Yep. Pyroraptor, guys. Very, very beautiful Pyroraptor. Baryonyx. Okay. We're going to have a hard time putting all the Takara Tomy dinosaurs back. They are not easy to place back, to be honest with you. Because they can't stand really well. Ghost. Atrociraptor Ghost. We have four uh, Atrociraptors. We have Red. We have Panthera. This is Tiger. Um, this is um, Panthera and this is Red, okay? Just now the white one is Ghost. Ghost is basically the easiest, you know, the easy, easiestly recognizable um, dinosaur, I mean the Atrociraptor. Some prehistoric flying reptiles, Tyrannodon is actually from the old set. Quatlas is basically the latest one, okay? And um, a mini Tyrannodon right here. All right, I think we are almost done with our video and I wanted to show you guys, okay, just a second, guys. Let's have a look at this Hammond Collection figures, guys. So, there are a lot of new Hammond Collection figures coming out. I've placed an order. They are on the way to my home, okay? So, we have the Ceratosaurus right here, Baryonyx, um, Parasaurolophus, Triceratops, Dilophosaurus, you know, the vintage, 
Jurassic Park Raptor and the Galley Mimer. So we are awaiting our Concavenator, our Pachycephalosaurus, our Ankylosaurus, Geosternbergier, that's one new Raptor, and um, I think so, I think there are five more. And we, we, we are going to place them right here, guys. I'm very, very excited. Of course, if you guys remember, I was actually putting my Hammond collection along with my Amber collection. I, I've basically put the human figures behind, you know, and the Hammond collection figures in front. So, but right now we have more space, so uh, we can um, splurge on the space a little bit more. But in future, we might squeeze them back in again, okay? Because, you know, um, we're gonna be running out of space really soon. But I'm really pretty happy that we still have like one, two, three, three rows of space and um, pretty, you know, quite generous amount of um, space right here for future repaints. You know, back at level 2 Jurassic World Millions, I used to squeeze all of this in one shelf, in one row. I didn't know how I managed to do that, but possibly because um, it was a much bigger, you know, it has much um, taller height. But right now it's uh, kind of like smaller as well. Okay, all right, thanks for watching this guys. You can see the mess that I've created just to make this video. I'm gonna have a hard time putting all of the figures back, but I enjoy doing this. So I want you guys to um, comment down below like what other collection videos you guys want me to make next week. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to me, okay, if you have not done so. Follow me on Instagram and um, TikTok, okay. Uh, I'm pretty active on TikTok recently. And if you guys like want to have a customized video, especially for yourself, you know, for your kids or you know, for your friend who is a fan of dinosaur, you can go us go on to the about us tab, and there's a way for you to interact. You know, I can actually you can actually order a personalized video for yourself. Okay, all right. So thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.